hi guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in today i'm going to be filming a whole video for you guys i love watching these kinds of videos so i thought i'd do one of my own i went to a few shops and got a few things that i thought i needed for my wardrobe so without wasting any time i will um get right into the video and show you guys what i got i first went to Foot Locker and the what i got two pairs of shoes from Foot Locker. the first thing was um this planet of mars jordans i absolutely love jordans and i have a few like a few of them but i don't have this and when i saw this i really really liked them and so i got a pair so that's the first pair of um shoe that i got the next shoe that I got from Foot Locker was just Nikes. I have the black and white ones, but I wanted a different color. So when I went to Foot Locker, I saw these ones. Uh, I really, really liked them. And I had to have them, and I got them. The other thing that I got from, um, the other thing that I got, I would just go with the shoes first, and then the clothes, because it was shoes, clothes, and then just a tiny bit of like, beauty stuff this i got from zara they're basically like a black flat shoe and they're like they're see-through on the side there if you guys can see they're like just see-through on the side there and then they're just like a really really nice i can't wear i cannot walk in heels and i prefer to not wear heels so this i wear with like dresses and more dressy up things that i want to wear so I like those. I got those from Zara and they were reduced from $29.99, I think, to $14.99. I really like them. Um, the other thing that I got, I got this from Sunsbury. Such an expect, such an unexpected place for boots. I've been looking for like uh, a heeled boot that is not too heeled, like so that the heel is comfortable enough for me to walk around. As I said, I do not like wearing heels. I'm really, they're really uncomfortable for me, and I do not see the reason why I should put myself through all that trouble. So when I found these and I tried them on, the boot was just the right size. Like the heel was just the right size of heel. I was like really, really happy with them. I love the way they look. I love that they are suede. I love suede in most of my shoes. So I really, really loved them and was happy with them and had to get them. The, and I got them for £25. So that wasn't too bad. I liked it. The other pair of shoes that I got were over the knee... Um, over the knee boots i've been looking for a pair that i i would really really like for a while now and when i saw these i was like very very happy with them they're just simple suede um over the knee boots that have like a tie here to like stitch them in if they're too um too loose and they also have this line here i hope the camera is gonna pick up on it um that line there um that's really really like it holds onto your calves and it's just like such a nice support to help like so that they don't keep coming down all the time if you do not want to use that tie so i really really love this they're so simple and they'll go with most things in my wardrobe i really like them they were 39.99 from dv8 so i got those and um the last pair of shoes that I got, these are just the partner, like the other pair of it, the other foot of it. The last shoe that I got was from Primark and it's just Uggs. Like, I always like to have like a pair of Uggs in my wardrobe just for those days when I want like a really squishy, soft um, shoe to get into, especially when it's raining and it's cold and I don't want to wear it, like anything fancy i just want a like simple outfit i love Uggs. i always like every winter i always try to have like a pair of them in my um in my wardrobe so i got those from primark and they were eight pounds in primark excuse me guys the other thing that i got is this from primark are just hangers i have been using this hangers um for a very long time now and they're so annoying because every time I put like clothes on it it just slips out of it, it just slips out of it and it's so much harder to keep 
like my wider necked tops on them so I decided that I was going to change this year I was gonna change all my hangers for something that would be more supportive and like would hold my clothes up and these are um, a velvety feel and they are absolute like they'll grip onto your clothes and will not you will not have them falling or anything I also like the little um, can you see from the guys guys there's like um, a tiny little hook just right there that um, you could probably hook your jewelry onto if you want to keep a certain piece of jewelry with you with um, certain outfit or if you are like planning out outfits and you want to wear it that just could hold your um, your jewelry they were like 350 they were reduced from four pounds to 350 in Primark so I got a whole like a few colors of them and um, I really really like them I I've already I already put them up in my wardrobe the rest of them and just got these two out to show you guys so I really really like them and they hold my clothes up really well the other thing that I got was this massive scarf I got this from H&M and it was um, $15.99 sorry $14.99 and it's basically like a huge blankety type of scarf I have a black one that I really love and wear all the time but then I thought I wanted a very um, I wanted a lighter color so when I wear whites or lighter colors I can actually have um, a light colored scarf and I really really love it it feels like a blanket around you and it, when you're not wearing it as a scarf if you needed like a mini blanket if you are somewhere or like on the airport or whatever you could just use it as a blanket I really love it it's really really huge so and it, the feel of it the material is really nice as well it does not come off as much as most um, scarves that I've had before come like come off so I really like that the other thing that I got from H&M was um, this um, hoodie type um, top I've worn this like every single day since I bought it I got this in an extra small from the guys section in H&M I really like it I just like it for casual days when I'm just wearing like truck um truck bottoms or like jogging pants and stuff and just throw that on i've worn it a few times already since i got it because i got it a few days ago so yeah i really like it and inside of it it's like a fleecy material it's really warm i love it it's such a perfect fit for me so i love that the other thing that i got guys is just a big um shirt this is a a man's shirt i got this from um sainsbury's and it is a size 18 but it's from the man's it's so so big on me guys it's like a shirt dress and i really like the the feet of it it's pure cotton that means it was like a tiny bit dear from like compared to the other shirts that were on there but it means it's like easy iron and it's easy wash the material is like really easy to wash up off like any dirt makeup and stuff so when I saw that guys and I tried it on I absolutely loved it I also didn't like the bottom to be like straight cut so this is a bit like um curvy at the end of it like it's the curved type of um, shirts and it looks really really good on me so I liked it and I got it the other thing that I got that I really bumped I was looking for like a simple kind of like black jacket to wear every single day with my every single um, day outfits and I got this from um, Primark look at the thing I got in this from Primark the reason why I got this I was looking for like a really really good one and I originally went to Zara because I was planning to like invest a little bit more in a coat but when I went to Zara and looked around I just didn't find anything that I liked so I got this one. This was the closest thing. I loved this when I saw it in Primark. I got this for um, ten ten pounds in Primark, and it's really really good. It's warm. It, the fit on me is perfect. It's a size ten, um, UK size and size six USA. I love it. I it's just I love it. it was it's really really warm and nice. 
The other thing that I got and I've been looking for for a really long time now is a cardigan. I got this I because I looked in any in like so many shops guys for like the perfect type of cardigan and I could not find anything that I really really liked. So I went to um TK Maxx to just check what was there and I found this one. I absolutely love it. It's from um Ginger G. I don't know what that is, but like um it's a small um it's a small and i love it i love the way it fits me it's really really warm and cozy as well and yeah i just really really like the material of it it's like really well made i loved it so i got that it was about 14 or 15 pounds in um tk max the other thing that i got from zara was a whole bunch of like basic t-shirts i was looking for like one of them is one I'm wearing right now. I was looking for like just um, a, a whole bunch of basic t-shirts because that's all that I wear like every single day all day. So I got um, a lot of them in like, um, oops, in like gray and then white and then um they were all just v-necks round neck short sleeve i bought them in all types and then some of them have like um like this one has the i got that okay i'll do that later okay i got this i'll do it later um just like graphics on it and there's just a whole bunch of like basic t-shirts basically that i got to um wear and i also got a few black ones um, the other thing that I got from Zara was like still along the t-shirt lines but it's a um, bit different because it's sort of like a dress. Um, it's long to my ankles and it's got the cut just right there like it's a t-shirt at the top cuts right from the belly button right down to um, my ankles. I really really loved that um it's the material of it is really really good and it looks really nice on so i had to get that um the last bit of clothing clothing well not really the last bit, but last bit of cl clothing that i got was this um jumper dress from primark and i the reason why i got this i was looking for a jumper dress for a long time but i didn't want to like i wanted to invest in it like i wanted to spend a bit more money to get one that like fits really nicely and feels really good this fits really nicely and feels amazing guys on and is really really warm and i got it for fiverr because it was reduced in primark i got it for five pounds and i absolutely like i'm crazy about it I think this would look nice with my shirt dress so yeah when I got that I was really really happy and I really really like that um, the other thing that I got guys were um, just from Primark as well they were reduced and they were just this snapback type of um, gloves black and white my wardrobe is black white and gray I think I've said that bef uh, like I said that before in the video but yeah, I got this and they're just like gloves for winter. I kind of like like the ones that are I can take the top off and have my fingers free for my phone or whatever. So I got that. And then I went to Boots because I've been looking for a um, waterproof mascara. I have never used a waterproof mascara. I never really saw the need. Um, but lately my eyes have been watering a little bit um, more than usual and I um, thought maybe I should get and so my mascara kind of like runs when that happens so I thought that I should get um, I should try a few waterproof mascara and I got this too I used this the day I used this yesterday I am not impressed impressed guys it's hard to put on it I, I hate the brush of it it's just um it's not that great and yeah it stayed on like I just <laughs> didn't work for me but I've only used it once and I will give it a go and I will keep wearing it a few times and I will tell you I can get back to you guys about that and then I didn't try that on I haven't used that yet and I will just um, let you guys know how that goes maybe I'll do a review on them whenever I like um, 
use them a bit longer and a few more times. The one that I've used for years is this one. It's not waterproof. It's just um, a normal black mascara. I love it. It's what I have on right now. And um, I really, really like it. It works the way the brush of it, like it's brush. It's like not like a brushy type um, material. I really love it. This is the brush right here. It's just, it works for me. It really, really puts my thingy on, my mascara on really well and effortlessly. And like the brushy type, like a bushy type brush, which is that one. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll try them on a few more times and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. And then the last thing that I got, guys, I, um, ha I keep trying as much, t like, if I find a different, um, beauty blender dupe, I will try it just for the fun of it. So when I went to Poundland to get a few things that are just house stuff, I found these um, beauty blender dupes from Poundland that I decided to get the two of them and try them on. Here's the thing, I used um, Real Techniques ones before and I did not like them. They were a tiny bit rough, maybe as just a tiny bit rough anyway. Um, and I was, while I was using, because that, that was my first beauty blender ever. So while I was using that, I was thinking, okay, maybe I should actually like take my time out and buy the actual beauty blender because the Real Techniques one just wasn't doing it for me. So um, while I was playing around with that thought, I went to TK Maxx the other day and I got this, um, it's W7 um power puff and guys i got one just to try it and then i went and bought multiples of it because i absolutely loved it once i started using it i had no need for me to go and get the actual beauty blender i felt like okay i found one that really works for me and that was this is it i've been using that i used that today i've been using that since so I really, really like it, and I will stick to it. I don't think I'm going to get the Beauty Blender at all. I just, I really, really like that. And I would not recommend you to get this, because they are, um... When you soak them in water, first of all, it takes ages before the water. The water literally just runs off it. So it takes ages for you to actually get the water in. And once that does, you know, the way beauty blenders like puff up, this one stays the same size. It does not change in size. It just, and then it doesn't put your makeup on properly. It's just, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I would not, definitely not recommend you buying this. I'd rather you go and get the Real Techniques one, which is about six, seven pounds, but Honestly, this is a waste of money, so don't get that. So yeah, that was it for my haul, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye.